Hello everyone and welcome to a very special Gear Time episode. As we have said, sometimes we talk about cars, sometimes cameras, sometimes computers. That's the fun of the whole Gear Time concept. Today, I have to share with you something that I did. I went out and made a little purchase. Yeah. Is it a box set of Knight Rider? It, this box set of Knight Rider is a gag gift because those who know me real well know that when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Knight Rider and not just obsessed with the program, but I loved the car. Kit was the star of the show. I mean, David Hasselhoff's a little goofy and Michael Knight's character was okay only because the writing on the show wasn't that great. So I got this box set out and I let my son watch it, who is now the age that I was when I loved the show, he has no interest. Yeah. It doesn't hold up over time, <laughs> unfortunately, but I love the kit car, and I've always wanted one. Online, you can find old Trans Ams in, in two conditions. They're either in the junkyard and they are a lost cause, or they are so well preserved, so well restored, that they're $30,000. So this year, I found one. I found the right one. It's inexpensive, it needs some work, but it runs and it looks decent. Which is hard to find, especially in the north where we have salt on the roads. Yeah. Cars that are 30 some years old, they're in the junkyard. So you buy your own Night Rider? I bought a Night Rider. So that is the subject of today's gear time if you're up for this. Sure. Okay, so uh, everybody remembers the kit car from the show Night Rider. So I always wanted one, so I bought one. So with that, if you have two minutes, I thought I have it here today. Yeah, you want to see this? Sure. It's right ridiculous. Yeah. All right, we're going to go, go check out the Knight Rider. Let's go take a look. All right, so here it is. This is... I bought Knight Rider. Yeah, you spent your own money on this? I did. Yeah? I did. It's an investment. I'm not sure about that. I, I, could, I could hear it going up in value. I think right now it's worth the most that it's ever going to be worth. I don't it's gonna, know. It's going to keep going down. It does have the original gold uh, brown trim around the bottom and the, the Firebird has actually just worn right off. But I'm going to have it painted. It runs great. It needs a few uh, parts of the suspension parts. It needs a few the interior parts and some of the trim pieces here. But overall, mm. Wow. It's in great shape here. This is your dream car? This is it. This wow. is uh, one of uh, many on the list. There it is. Looks now, like, it, we're not going to kit the whole thing out. Yeah. Looks like it could use a little interior work. It needs work. some interior yeah. work. But we're not going to have the, the dashboard. We're not going to have all the lights and the buttons. Uh, we're not going to have the ejector seat. We're not going to have turbo boost. But I will share with you this. It does have the smoke screen. As soon as you fire it up, yeah. smoke shoots out the back. So it's a smoke screen. You don't have a lot of control over it. Well, but I mean, you can get away quick and nobody will find you. Well, I think that's best because then it'll kind of mask that you're the person driving the car, so not as many people will see you in this.